thank you for submitting these questions and also to Prof. Inglesma for answering them. As we expected, the question and answer session is uh, very interesting, and I hope that uh, the answers that were given to a few sample questions will direct you to the website. Our plans are to answer all of these questions over time on our website and to continue this whole subject for a long time. We, we have the special website devoted to this for an entire year. So if, you, if your question has not been answered, uh, look up the website. The address is on the uh, program that we handed out. And also, CDs and DVDs are available, though not immediately. They will be available, and you can order them uh, in the back or later on at our website. Also, you can look at the literature, uh, much of which is very directly related to the subject of the lecture tonight, and you can pick up a number of free pieces of literature, and we encourage you to do this. I will now ask Professor Inglesma to lead us in closing prayer. Let us pray. <clears throat> Our Father who art in heaven, we thank thee for the knowledge of thee and of thy will, not only for our lives, but also for the history of the world. And we are stricken and humbled by the reminder tonight that all things have been made and designed and directed for Jesus Christ, exalted above all. And therefore, for our sakes, who belong to him, by thy election of us in grace, on the basis of the redemption of the cross by grace, and actually and spiritually by a living faith which thou dost give us, all things are ours, and we are Christ's, and Christ is thine. How good thou art to us. And now in gratitude, may we confess thy name and truth, and stand for it with regard specifically to the topic of the evening tonight, so that the church our church, our churches, are not swallowed up by the world, are not corrupted by the influences of the world, as though the world were our friend, and by a cooperation and fellowship with the world that are illegitimate. But may we stand fast and be willing to suffer reproach and even persecution for the sake of Jesus Christ, whom we confess in all our life, and to the confession of which is added our antithetical holy life of the service of him. Bless this evening. Pardon all that tainted it with sin. And bless the evangelistic efforts of the Southwest Protestant Reformed Church, their abundant work, their godly aggressiveness, and their sense of the timeliness of the topic tonight for the spread of the gospel and the establishment of thy people. In Jesus' name, amen.